Economists usually assume that people are rational. Rational people maximize their utility or profit, given the available opportunities. Firms decide how many workers to hire, and how many products to produce to maximize profits. Individuals choose how much time to spend working and what goods and services to buy to maximize their utility. How do rational people make decisions? Rational people make decisions by comparing marginal costs and marginal benefits. Margin means the edge, like the edge of a table. The marginal change is a small incremental change around the edges of what we are doing. A rational decision maker takes action if and only if the marginal benefit of the action is greater than the marginal cost. Let's think about an airline company. Suppose the airplane has one hundred seats, and it costs twenty thousand dollars to fly from South Carolina to Washington D.C. The average cost of each seat equals twenty thousand divided by one hundred. That is two hundred dollars. What if a passenger is willing to pay only one hundred dollars? At the last minute, before the airplane takes off, what would you say if there were empty seats on the airplane? Do you think the airline company should sell the ticket for one hundred dollars? You might think that the airline company should never sell a ticket for less than two hundred dollars, the average cost. But a rational airline company can increase its profits by thinking at the margin. The airline company should compare the marginal cost with the marginal benefit of selling one more ticket. What is the marginal cost? Probably, it's just what the extra passenger will consume on the airplane, like food, drinks, and snacks. The marginal cost is little. When the marginal cost is compared with the marginal benefit, the one hundred dollars, the marginal benefit exceeds the marginal cost. So, yes, the airline company should sell the ticket to that passenger. Let's take a look at another example: water and diamond. We need water to survive, while diamonds are unnecessary. It's a classic question: Why is water so cheap, while diamonds are so expensive? To answer this question, we have to think of the marginal benefits of having one more cup of water and one more piece of diamond. What's the marginal benefit of having one more extra cup of water? Usually, it's not too much. If I'm not thirsty, and plenty of water is available, how about have one more piece of diamond? It will make a big difference. Diamond is rare. One more extra diamond gives me immense satisfaction. So I value diamonds much higher than water. This is the case in our daily lives, but in some situations, in some places in the world, people in quarantine could not go out to buy food. The water and food become much more valuable. One more bottle of water, or one more box of noodles, can make a big difference. That's why there are videos about people in lockdown. Exchanging an iPad for instant noodles. Under the circumstances, one more box of instant noodles is more valuable than one extra iPad. When it comes to the firms, they compare marginal revenue and marginal cost to decide how many workers to hire and how many products to produce. It's all about the marginal change. Being a rational person. And thinking at the margin would help you a lot. 
Keep in mind that marginal thinking is the economic way of thinking.